talk to us. Please open our eyes to see. We need an encounter. Cause we won't stop praying. We won't stop shouting. And we won't stop pressing. Until we look just like you. The greatest deliverance a man can ever have is to be delivered from himself. Is to be delivered from flesh. Is to be delivered from his own will. Is to be conquered by God's love. Is to be defeated by and slain by the love of God. The passion. The Bible talked about the, the, the Jesus Christ. And I, when they went to the temple and scattered everything, the Bible says, and it was written of him that the zeal of the house of his mother has consumed him. A deliverer is one who moves about with the jealousy of God. He carries the infuriation, the anger, the jealousy of God. The anger and jealousy of God. This world is too small. <laughs> if God can equip us, if He can fashion us after the order of Jesus, we become deliverers to nations. We become deliverers to nations. The Bible says, Let your light so shine. Let your light so shine. Let the glory of God that is hidden inside of you so shine. That men may see the good works. And when they see the good works, then you are doing an ambassador of God. You become a deliverer of nations. But we need that one encounter. We need that one encounter. We need one encounter. One encounter. Hey. What is deliverance? This delivery spirit come to the place of coin in the place of Koinonia. A place where you meet God to press like Jacob. May it not be said of you that this night you will be like Jacob that said God was here and I knew he's not. And I knew what. But in the second time, he didn't let, he didn't let activity rob him of the, of, the, of, of the encounter. He said, the Bible said, he drove out everybody and he wrestled with the angel. He wrestled with God. The first thing that happened to him that his name changed. His nomenclature no changed.
do not be deceived with the popular saying that if it's only praise, praise God is only glorified when you praise Him. No. One of the things God wants, the original plan of God, is that Eden begin to spread all over the world. Eden is a place where God's glory is not eating. That's why Adam can name many things. Adam can see two things. There was nothing spiritual. There was nothing. Every, every spiritual thing was plain in the eyes of Adam. The original plan was that Abraham was going to cultivate the Garden of Eden. That the Garden of Eden would become a physical location that everybody can stay in to be sin came. So when you spread the fragrance of God's glory upon every tribe, upon every nation, upon every tongue, every color and race, then God gets glory. God gets glory. God gets the glory. God gets the glory. It's not just when you sing and dance. God gets glory when the fullness of Him is domiciled in you. When the fullness of you is resident in you. This program is to stir you up. It's to stir you up to cause your flesh and quicken your spirit. And quicken your spirit to the place of prayer. That's why in songs we pray. In prayer we pray. In studying the scripture we pray. Everything about us is just to press. That the fullness of God will find expression in us. We pray, pray, pray. There is a fire inside me that is able to burn the world. Fire. There is a river inside me that is able to drown the world. There is a fire inside us. That can stay up, <laughs> that can stay up, revive my delicious. Kalatakor, Rakotos, Pika, Reke, take it, take it all. Let me land on this side of the world. We want to know you. We want to know you. You've proven yourself in my life. I've come to realize you are too faithful to fail me. Amen. Jehovah God, we thank you. We appreciate you for another wonderful moment like this. That is taking us to the very last month in the very blessed year 2020. We say thank you, Jehovah God. We know you are too faithful to fail. You can't take us this far to abandon us. And this is the confidence we have in you that we shall end well this very year. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Take all the glory and let your name alone be magnified. And let blessings be ours. For in Jesus' mighty name, Amen. I want to welcome us to this glorious night, the grand finale for the year 2020, as we're moving into the very last month. By the special grace of God, we have spent 335 days as a date in this year. And we are left with just 31 days. I speak to somebody hearing me or listening to the voice of God through me that you will end well in the mighty name of jesus whether the devil likes it or not you have started well this year irrespective of what might have happened i have come to announce to you that you shall end well to the glory of the lord in the name of jesus everything you have ever lost in this year god of heaven will restore them back in this 31 days in the name of jesus god bless you as you keep listening and hearing the word of God and I go into prayers and prophetic deliverance declarations. 
I read from the book of Psalm 92. Psalm 92. I start from verse number 1. Bible says, It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. This is very great. The word of God is coming to you and I. That is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. Maybe you have not been giving thanks before. I want to put it to you according to the scripture that it is a good thing. So imbibe the habit of thanksgiving. I go further. He said to show for thy loving kindness in the morning and in thy faithfulness. And in the morning and in thy faithfulness every night. Verse number 3 says, Upon an instrument of ten strings, and upon the psaltery, upon the harp with solemn sound. Verse 4 says, For thou, Lord, hath made me glad through thy work. I will triumph in the works of thy hands. Somebody will triumph in the work of the hands of Jehovah God. Because you are his handy work, you are bound to triumph. And I speak to your life. As you go through the 31 days left in this year, you will triumph physically, spiritually, financially, materially, matrimonially, academically, and in all ramifications of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I go straight to verse number 5. It says, O Lord, how great are thy works. And thy, one, and thy thoughts are very deep. A brutish man knoweth not. Neither doth a fool understand this. When the wicked spring as the grass. And when all the workers of iniquity do flourish. It is that. They shall be destroyed forever. But thou, Lord, that's verse 8, art most high forevermore. Now it says, For lo, thy enemies, O Lord, for lo, thy enemies shall perish. All the workers of iniquities shall be scattered. I stop in verse 10. It says, But my own shall thou exalt like the own of an unicorn. Jehovah God will exalt your horn, will lift you higher, like that of the horn of a unicorn, in the mighty name of Jesus. And conclusively, says, I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Jehovah is going to anoint somebody with fresh oil tonight. And that is the very you, in the name of Jesus. I say, receive that fresh oil in the mighty name of Jesus. As your horn is lifted, I pray that God of heaven, we in his infinite mercy, anoint your head with fresh oil in the name of Jesus. I want you to note this, that as this year is running out, already this very 2020 is a year where the velocity or the speed of violence has reached the highest capacity in human history. I say it to your understanding again that this very year, though we are at the end of the year, but this year, I put it to you that this is the year when the velocity or the speed of violence has reached its highest capacity in human history. Demonic agents of darkness, they are busy looking for willing victims. I speak to your life. You will never be a victim in the mighty name of Jesus. I say, as the year rolls out, you, very you, you will not be a victim of the demonic agents in the name of Jesus. They are ready to attack without any negotiation. I say, the devil is ready to attack without any negotiation. I pray, whether they like it or not, they will not apprehend you in the name of Jesus. Now, to nip such attack in the board. Beloved, you need to ensure that your prayer life is extraordinarily hot and your tongue praises to be a lifestyle. I say for you to nip such attack in the board, you need to ensure that your prayer life is extraordinarily hot and more so, praises must be your lifestyle. I want you to quickly say this, declare it live and direct with all strength of Jehovah God in you. 
before I bless you and I release prophetic deliverance prayers upon your life. He said, I break every backbone of disfavor within the few days left in this year. Open your mouth and begin to say it loud and clear. Say, I break every backbone of disfavor in the mighty name of Jesus. Every backbone of disfavor, I break you. I break you. I break you. I break you in the name of Jesus. Every backbone of disfavor in your life, in your marriage, in your financial life, in your matrimonial life, in everything that concerns you, I break it. I break it. I break it in Jesus' name. Amen. You say this loud and clear. Every gate of evil delay be broken. Evil gate of evil delays break. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil gate. Every gate of evil delay be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say this again. Disappeared helpers reappear to move my destiny forward. Disappear helpers reappear to move my destiny forward. Disappear helpers in my marriage, in my businesses, in my ministry, in my calling, in my undertakings. Reappear to move my life forward. Reappear to move my destiny forward. In Jesus' name. Amen. Say this. I step out of every demotion into promotions. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 As we're going into the prophetic deliverance declaration. I want you to join me in the spirit. I want you to join me in the spirit. Amen. I speak to somebody's life that your glory is being released from the cage of evil locations. In the mighty name of Jesus, every evil location where your glory has been caged, I remove it by the power in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight, I decree to your life that you will never forget tonight in a hurry. In the name of Jesus. I say this very night that takes us to the last month of this decade, of this year, sorry. I speak to your life that this very night that takes us to the last month of this leap year, I say you will not forget it in a hurry. In the name of Jesus. I see strange and the overs. In the mighty name of Jesus. I say I see strange and the overs. In your situation, in the name of Jesus, the king willingly handed over to Joseph. These same kings, they willingly handed over to Daniel. These are captives in land of captivity becoming captain. So I decree to your life that you become captain in your land of captivity. In the mighty name of Jesus, from this moment henceforth, Become captain in your land of captivity in the name of Jesus. And there shall be manifestation for this confirmation from this moment. Even before this year runs out, I say there shall be manifestation for its confirmation in the mighty name of Jesus. The year you are moving into, I decree and declare that it is a new year. It is a new year of a new beginning, of a strange ending over of new greatness that you have ever experienced in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I want somebody to shout a meaningful and a wonderful amen to that. Amen. Amen. Because you belong to the supernatural. I say because you, 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 you belong to the supernatural. There shall be unexplainable, but undeniable with the power in the mighty name of Jesus. I say because you belong to the supernatural, there shall be unexplainable, that is undeniable, miracles and breakthroughs in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Not this. This strange ending over of great things that is coming unto you is not by error. It is divine. Because Jehovah God has ordained it 
and it shall come to fulfillment. If you go through the scriptures, Bible made a covenant with the children of Israel. And this covenant till date is still evidence. Because you are a spiritual Israelite, you are the spiritual Jewish, I come to announce to you, because for every nation of the heart, we have the community of the Jewish, the covenanted Jewish. Because you belong to the covenanted Jewish of Jehovah God, you shall eat in plenty and you shall be satisfied. Jehovah God will enlarge your coast. He will say to you on every side, and there shall be testimony in all ramifications of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, everybody under the sound of the Almighty through me, I decree and declare you a candidate of strange handing overs. In the name of Jesus, I say I declare you candidate of strange handing overs. In the mighty name of Jesus, you become a solution to this generation. In the name of Jesus, because God has ordained that solution to the world. Crisis will be domiciled in the church. And because you are the spiritual Jewish of your community, I speak to you that you become.